It's 835. You know, WCBM might be the only radio station, I have to look this up, that have had two talk show hosts elected to uh, to the House of Delegates. Hmm. Delegate Pat McDonough, who was there for 20 years, and Delegate Nino Mangione. So he's currently in the, in the House. Pat is on the line with us here at Newsmaker Hotline. He's running for Baltimore County Executive, as you know. Pat, good morning. Good morning, uh, Bruce, and good morning, Sean. Good morning. All right, so your, your slogan is Save Our County. Um, yes. All right, how do you propose to do that? What, what's the most pressing issue right now for, the, for Baltimore County? Well, uh, the most pressing issue, quite frankly, is Johnny Olszewski and his agenda. Uh, when I was in the primary, I spoke with over 500 people who had voted in early voting and in the election itself after. I spoke to them after they had voted, and we visited different areas, and we found out that they were Democrats and Republicans, and I asked them the question, what is your greatest fear? And every one of them said, our greatest fear is the future of Baltimore County. Because anyone that has lived in Baltimore County for more than 10 years has witnessed the transformation in the county under the Democratic leftist tax and spend rules and the transformation in our culture. I mean, the crime is on the increase despite the lies from the county executive and his police chief. Uh, last year, uh, we had 6,200 assaults, and this year we already have 7,000. Last year, we had 6,500 thefts, and this year we have 8,000 and growing rapidly. We have 369 personnel who have departed the Baltimore County Police Department, 208 sworn officers, and 160 private uh, officers who work in the department that are not sworn officers. And they're leaving every week. They passed a resolution condemning the police chief. Uh, you cannot have a county that's safe with a police department where the morale is the lowest it's ever been. We've got problems with education. The numbers are down. The violence is up. Nothing is being done about it. Neighborhoods are changing. We have a 40% increase in poverty in Baltimore County. We're at the point now where we have more people uh, renting than we have buying homes, home ownership, which is always a bad sign for a community. And I can tell you, and I think we're going to try to expose it, there is a lot of corruption going on in the uh, administration of Johnny Olszewski. So it it's, goes on and on. Uh, Pat, I have promised myself that I asked the same question of Dan Cox when he was on with us uh, as the very first question, because I asked if he had reached out following the primary to Kelly Schultz uh, to see if uh, she would stand side by side with him uh, to get a Republican governor elected. Uh, and my question to you is, have you done the same? Reached out to Dan Cox or Kelly Schultz? No, I have reached out to your competitors. Yeah, yeah, we've talked to all of them. Darren uh, DeBio is a big help to us. He's out working real hard. And uh, some of the other ones have chosen not to do much, but, you know, that's up to them. Uh, the fact of the matter is that uh, the Baltimore County executive position, as both of you know, is the most powerful position in Baltimore County. Here is a job that can raise a million dollars a year, and the county executive, Republican county executive, could become an ATM machine for future candidates in the Republican party. party. He could bring real strength to the party. I have 500 jobs that I appoint. I have 15 jobs that pay over $150,000 that I appoint. I control the police, the fire department, great influence over education, health, and housing. You would think the Republican leadership, so to speak, would be jumping on support of this job. Whether you like me or you don't, the position is powerful. The Democrats are lining up and uniting behind Olszewski. So we're getting support from the people. To be honest with you, the support is overwhelming financially and out on the streets. So we're excited about that, and we believe we're going to win this election. And we certainly hope this is a new wave of, uh, of Republican uh, direction because the leadership of, uh, of the current party is they got all the leadership skills of a, of a caboose. You mentioned uh, corruption, Pat. Uh, again, there's always been this um, uneasy, awkward relationship between developers and contributions to the county executive, to the county council. Are you going to be able to clean all that up? 
Well, you can. First of all, you don't do it, number one. But number two, the Inspector Gen- General, Kelly Madigan, is a wonderful person. And Olszewski fights with her all the time. He wants to put up an oversight committee to keep an eye on her. Olszewski is already under investigation by uh, the special prosecutor about this transfer station he wanted to put in Dundalk, a private transfer station, and he raised $30,000 from the people who want to put it in there. Council suspended it. They want to take a look at it. A whistleblower filed a criminal charge against him, and Kelly Madigan is looking at it. Olszewski's chief of staff, Patrick Murray, quit. All of a sudden, without notice, uh, one of the smartest guys in the Democrat Party had left the administration. I was told because he was running blocking for Olszewski with Kelly Madigan, and she said to Patrick Murray, I'm not going to pay any attention to you anymore. I'm going to do what I have to do, and the next day he quit. So we know there's a lot of corruption in the inspection services. There's corruption in the housing. There's racial uh, corruption in the housing. A lot of things are going on. Uh, Pat, you've talked about uh, some of the links between developers and uh, the administration at Baltimore County level. What would your position be on the Red Maple Public Housing Development on East Towson? No, I would stop it, number one, uh, if I could. If I have the authority to do it, I will stop it. I'm going to declare a moratorium on housing in relationship, especially to government-financed housing. I understand that there is a lot of corruption from out-of-state speculators and hustlers investing in properties in Baltimore County and then turning them over to the Section 8 process. In the Section 8 process, these people invest money, and then the taxpayers pay them, uh, these out-of-state hustlers, and they bring poverty to Baltimore County, and we bring wealth to them. I want to take a look at that. I want to look at these complaints. Communities are complaining about the sustainability of their neighborhoods with this affordable housing Too many people living in a home, too much noise, drugs, all sorts of things. It's being ignored. I want to take a look at all of that, and I want to take a look at who is making the money off of all this stuff. Follow the money. On the line with his former delegate, Pat McDonough, running for Baltimore County Executive. Uh, you hit on the crime issue, Pat, and we had an 83-year-old man that was uh, carjacked in Pikesville uh, over the weekend. So that's on the first and foremost of uh, everybody's minds. You want to be safe uh, in the streets of Baltimore County, safe in your home. You also want to be safe in school. Um, and we've had a number of, uh, of, of public fights and issues in the Baltimore County school system. Uh, so if you would address what can you do about safety for our children and grandchildren in the county school system, and, and then on to content, how can we make sure they're protected from this radical left uh, agenda in our schools? Well, this is the most important job that I have in front of me. Uh, one of the tools I'm going to use besides executive orders is litigation. Uh, I helped to form the Respect the Constitution law firm, And we uh, believe in litigation. I have 40 lawyers that work for the county and are under my authority. And one of the first things we're going to do is we're going to pass a Safe Kids 911 Act. What this does is it says that parents who uh, have a child assaulted or injured in the school system should come directly to the police and file a criminal complaint. Do not go into the school system. And I will have a police unit that will take care of that, and we will do what is necessary to take care of it. Number two, we're going to change the SRO system in the school system uh, from where it is now, where they're just little little servants. We're going to make them aggressive in the school system. We're going to create a position of education advocate, who is like the inspector general. The education advocate is responsible and works for the parents and the students, not the Board of Education or the superintendent. And uh, he or she will have uh, subpoena power and investigative power. And what we're going to do with that is if a parent, and we're going to create alongside that a parent's bill of rights, the parents have say about the curriculum, the parents have access to records, the parents get information when they need it, and if they don't, the education advocate will talk to the education establishment and tell them if you don't do it, we're going to talk and get serious about this. So it's going to be a major revolution in education. County executives lie to the people. They say, look, 
I have nothing to do with education. I can't do anything about it. We're going to stop the violence. I'm going to become the new superintendent of schools in Baltimore County. I'm going to be in with both feet taking care of the parents and the students and making sure that we have an education system that works. My pledge to the people is I will never allow Baltimore County to become another failure like Baltimore City. Uh, uh, Pat, uh, a couple of emails in there, kind of let me fold them together if I might. Uh, one from Marty, one from Evelyn. Uh, the two questions are, uh, first, Pat is talking as if he's already won the election. Did I miss something? Uh, and second, from Marty, is Pat saying he's selling jobs? Um, when you're talking about which jobs you have and that you will make available? Well, there's a lot of jobs. First of all, I'm not selling any jobs. People are going to apply for them. Uh, the executive staff is kind of large, has a lot of left-wing Baltimore City people on the staff of the uh, county executive, and they will be gone as quickly as possible. The police chief will be replaced as quickly as possible. We have a lot of problems. And another problem we have is with the fire department, and especially the volunteer firefighters. Uh, they need a lot of help. Uh, they save us $40 million a year in Baltimore County, and they're not being addressed. So there are all kinds of jobs. As I've said, uh, the police department, 369 vacancies. i got to take care of that. Uh, I can't protect Baltimore County. And the, uh, the drug enforcement unit has been changed so drastically that it doesn't even function anymore. So we have a lot of problems with the job situation. Uh, I can't save the county by myself. I need a lot of help. And, you know, many years ago I worked for William Donald Schaefer, the great mayor of Baltimore County. And he told me, he said, Pat, when you become a leader, he said, I think you're kind of dumb. You probably never will. But <laughs> if you become a leader, you're, you're going you're gonna to have to be the father of the village. You're going to have to take care of people, and you're going to have to have good people working for you to get it done. So that's what we're talking about. I don't know what the other question was. All right, we have about a minute and a half left, and I just want to ask you, uh, what, if anything, can you do to alleviate uh, the pro property taxes continue uh, to go up and up each and every uh, every year? The assessments, or I know, are done at the state level, but what can you do for property tax relief? Well, here's the problem, Sean. Every household, every homeowner in Baltimore County has had a property tax increase from 200 to 2000 dollars in the past 3 years and they know that and that's what they're angry about that's one of the many things they're angry about this election is really I'll be honest with you it's really about Johnny Olszewski more than it is about Pat McDonough most people don't know what I intend to do and I'm going to bring a revolutionary change to the county that's needed it's needed but uh they, this is all about Olszewski so uh, the spending, we're going to keep an eye on. The debt is the highest in the history of the county. He has increased spending by 38% in three years, which is a record. And uh, we're going to keep an eye on all of that. The taxpayers come first, but the survival and the growth and bringing the county into an era of greatness, that is my ambition. All right. The website people can go to donate to volunteer? They can go to patmcdonough.com. PatMcDonough.com. Thanks, Pat. Appreciate Thanks, it. Pat. We'll have you back Thank on you. here before Thank the uh, yep. election. Good luck on the trail. All right. That's uh, Della, former delegate Pat McDonough running for Baltimore County Executive. 850. You're on the morning drive with Casey and Elliot.